so I want to keep this video kind of short and concise. I'm going to be briefing you on how I got to this point. This is my self-improvement journey. To be honest, before self-improvement, life was kind of blurry. As a young kid, I liked anime and fighting and making up whole fighting stories with my siblings, and I used those worlds to kind of escape my reality. My parents separated when I was three, and I can't recall a time from when I was really little when staying at home was peaceful. There was abuse of substances, violence, and just, it was a weird place for my early years. I lived in over seven homes in the first 10 years of my life. All in the same state though, I wasn't bouncing around too much. I moved schools a lot until about first grade where I stayed in the same school, although I continued to move houses. School just kind of naturally came easy to me, especially when I was a kid. So I never really developed the habit of trying. I just saw it as time away from home, which as a kid, I actually enjoyed. As my parents aged, things became more consistent and I fell into the trap of Fortnite. Around this time is where I became friends with Penel as well. Now I was gonna make a whole video completely dedicated to Fortnite and how it taught me how to learn, but as you guys know, I deleted it. Also around this time, since my house was stable and I was chilling in the house, I started to become apathetic towards school because the whole purpose of it in my head was to just get away from my house. But to say I was addicted I just, to I Fortnite would be an understatement. I would literally pee in the sink so I could get to my game faster. It was actually ridiculous. As I aged, I got less involved with video games and more involved with drugs and girls. And for a while, that was all I would do until the end of summer 2021, where I got my first real girlfriend. And with all the extra time on my hands freed up from not running around, I had nothing to do. I started watching Baki and decided to work out. And this is where I would say my self-improvement journey truly started. So about a year and a half ago in October of 2021, if you want a full in-depth guide on my exercise journey, I have a video on my channel called How I Became Aesthetic Watching Anime. Exercise was the first thing in my life that I did that actually felt productive to me. It felt like the first hint of purpose that I had in life. It would be constantly in my head, almost obsessively, like background music to everything I did, eat, sleep, and even the act itself. I remember being in school, sitting in class, just waiting to get out and exercise, or being in school, tweaking my workout program to gain a new ability or to bring up a lacking muscle group. Exercise changed not only my body, but my mind. As a kid, I had a pessimistic view of life due to my environment, constant fighting and drug use, and just drama that a kid shouldn't endure. And I felt as if, everything was out of my control and me being so young definitely amplified this feeling of hopelessness because when you're a child most things truly are out of your control but i carried this belief as i aged and it showed in my body exercise really restored some of my lost hope and it did this by showing me my actions truly have control over my circumstances it showed me that my inputs of working hard eating right and sleeping good led to the output of an attractive physique and this was my first hands-on experience with delayed gratification, which has carried on to other self-improvement endeavors. And if you remember, since I started exercising, I've been in a relationship. I definitely started it before I was mentally mature enough to handle it. In hindsight, as early teens with that troubled past and a shared love of substances, it seemed destined to fail. And almost a year in, at around May 2022, it was looking that way. And as a man, at the time, I'll admit, I was a problem and it was completely my fault. I had been consistently working out, but I had no direction in life and I was still indulging in the instant gratification activities and had not been the most faithful partner. Around this time, I also received some pretty bad news which just took any bliss that I had in the world and just crushed it. Feeling back into a corner by life and ultimately my actions, I fell into this weird anger and sadness, which only proved to make things worse in my relations. 
my habits with drugs and school and personal relations, all were leading to a very self-destructive life. This was until a video popped into my recommended, which is crazy, my life got saved by a YouTube video, near the start of summer 2022, which would later be coined self-improvement summer. Self-improvement summer is the toughest shit. Yeah, it is. We used to, it's next to self-improvement school. This is one of the best summers of my life. It's, it's it was a video by Hamza titled, Two Weeks Can Change Your Life. Now, did I believe it? No. Was I desperate enough to try it? Hell yes. This video was obviously about improving your mental health in two weeks and included the following habits. Meditation, which I had never tried up to this point. Exercise, I was already doing, so that one was kind of easy for me. Gratitude, which I'm a big fan of gratitude. Meditation too. Full video on that coming so soon, guys. Like, so soon. Learning, which specifically was the science of well-being. Coursera course, which... I've learned a lot from, I learned about hedonistic adaptation and shit. I remember learning a lot from that course and just reading, which she said you can mix in with learning, but I didn't, I, I did those separately. So I decided to try it out and became pretty much addicted to self-improvement, which is one of the better addictions to have. And I also indoctrinated my girlfriend. And although things didn't magically change overnight, over great time, we saw great improvement and even help each other quit substances. Now things aren't perfect and we are still improving to this day, but it has definitely been an upward trend. After doing the two weeks, I continued to do the practices for over a month, adding my own habits to the tracker, like Spanish practice, which I was doing at the time, and 100 push-ups every day. Those are two that I remember. This is where I decided to take a step forward in my self-improvement journey and made a YouTube channel in around July of 2022. So it's been like nine months on the channel. And this is when self-improvement became really serious to me. Because I felt like if I was preaching it, I also got to practice it. Nigga, you not even a practicing what you preach, my nigga. And it's been almost like a full-time job ever since then. Pretty much all my days from start to finish have been a self-improvement vlog. And over this time, I picked up habits like video editing, coding, picture editing, martial arts, and journaling, among other things. And I can confidently say, like I was screaming from the top of my lungs, this has been the best period of my life. I remember when I first started making videos, I was preach. outside I'm preach, going bro. at a camera to no one. And since then, I've learned so much about self-improvement and the true meaning and positivity behind the message. Just by me teaching it to you guys, I have learned so much myself. And you can see the evolution through this channel. And I plan to continue documenting my progress my whole life. And most importantly, I've amassed a community of you guys. Nearly a thousand people in nine months. People who are noticing the growth and are truly taking this wonderful, growth-filled journey of self-improvement with me. So thank you. I truly appreciate you as a person and your view, which leads me to my next step. In April 2023, I am starting one-on-one -on -one self-improvement coaching. So not only can you watch and experience my growth, but I can watch you grow and experience your development with you, sharing the lessons I've learned on my journey and doing more than just talking to a camera and preaching the message, but talking to a person and getting in the field and really seeing their development. I want to help you experience the delight and wonder I have taken this amazing self-improvement journey. I want to help you make true progress and reach your goals, not a cookie cutter plan. It's based on you. And of course, we're going to have like future plans, one on one, like whole month projects. But I'm just starting a one on one 30 minute coaching calls for $30 right now. And then we're going to have future plans based on you. It'll start like with the call. And then I'll be like, yo, what do you want? What are you trying to do? And then we'll make the plan a plan that you agree with. A plan that you agree with, a plan that's gonna push you, but it's gonna push you to the edge of your capabilities. So you have a new edge to push yourself again. So that will actually come soon. That'll be happening within the next three weeks. But for one, right now, it's one on one self improvement calls, $30, 30 minutes, sign up, level up. So click the first link in the description to take that next step and level up to become the best version of you. I'll get off YouTube and let's evolve together.